As rail workers, our retirement benefits are managed by a federal agency, the Railroad Retirement Board, under the authority of a federal law, the Railroad Retirement Act. This episode of On Our Way Shortlines explores why we have two tiers of withholdings for RRB retirement and how our retirement benefits differ from Social Security benefits and withholdings. Keep in mind that this video cannot cover every special circumstance regarding the level of benefits you or your spouse may receive upon retirement, since many factors are taken into account. Your best source of information regarding your retirement withholdings and benefits is the RRB itself, the government agency responsible for administering our retirement program. You can contact the Railroad Retirement Board at 877-772-5772 or by visiting their website at rrb.gov. While both programs are authorized under federal law and administered by the government, workers retiring with RRB benefits will often receive a much higher amount in monthly benefits than those whose retirement comes under Social Security. In fiscal year 2022, the average payment to railroad retirees was $4,020 per month for those considered career railroad employees and $3,210 per month for all retirees drawing benefits from railroad retirement. Under Social Security for the same period, average retiree benefits were $1,650 per month. For spouses receiving an annuity through railroad retirement in fiscal year 2022, the average benefit was $1,160 per month, while the same benefit for spouses under Social Security averaged $810 per month. The higher benefits paid to railroad retirees and their spouses are supported by additional withholdings made while rail workers are active in their employment. Under the Railroad Retirement Act, benefits are based on a two-tier structure, Tier 1 and Tier 2. Similarly, the withholdings for these benefits are also calculated under a Tier 1, Tier 2 structure. Tier 1 withholding and benefits match those provided by Social Security. For those workers who paid into Social Security from non-railroad employment, their Social Security wage credits are factored in once they vested in the railroad retirement system. Tier 2 withholding and benefits are comparable to a private pension in another industry. This tier is based solely on railroad compensation and Tier 2 withholdings while a worker was employed on the railroad. Bottom line, when you see the Tier 1 and Tier 2 withholdings on your pay stub, Tier 1 is equivalent to what would be withheld by any employer paying into Social Security. The higher benefit amounts you and your spouse receive from Tier 2 of railroad retirement are covered under the Tier 2 withholdings you see on your pay stub. Your benefits and withholdings are not a matter for collective bargaining between your railroad and our union. They are a federal law. Your RRB field office is the best source for understanding your benefits, rights, and responsibilities under the Railroad Retirement Act. Please contact your RRB field office staff who can assist you with questions regarding retirement benefits, disability and survivor benefits, Medicare, how railroad retirement interacts with Social Security, your tax withholdings, and sickness or unemployment benefits also administered by the Railroad Retirement Board. Find your RRB field office at rrb.gov slash field hyphen office hyphen locator or by calling 877-772-5772. This has been a brief video on understanding why our RRB withholdings are in two tiers.